Hi everybody, Joanne Kitty Bush here. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kitty, officially episode number 20. I told you we're going to take it on the road and we will soon. I'm just setting up some dates to get some guest uh, cooks and go into their house. Anyway, today I am attempting my version of uh, sesame ginger chicken. Now normally I would make this like a stir fry and I would get a bottle of sesame ginger sauce, which I do happen to have in the fridge. But we're going to try to do something more authentic and real since I am, you know, a cooking show. So to save time, I, um, I've already cooked up the chicken, but this is the chicken I use, chicken tenders from Trader Joe's. I also get them from Pavilions. Um, they're individually frozen, so you can take as many as you need at a time and you can actually cook it from frozen. Um, I made a light breading. This is not deep fried like a sweet and sour kind of chicken, but I just took um, one egg and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, I, in my life, have never used cornstarch because I really don't bake or anything, so it was kind of exciting to use a real ingredient. And I just mixed that and I lightly battered the chicken and it's been cooking in uh, canola oil. But because I really like the taste of sesame, besides making the sauce with sesame oil, which I get from Trader Joe's, I added some of that extra to the chicken just because I wanted to. And it looks kind of like that. You do it till it's sort of lightly brown. That's been off to the side. Meanwhile, normally you would cook the vegetables first, move them to the side, then cook the chicken, but to save time. Um, I've already kind of lightly sauteed my vegetables that I'm adding to my sesame chicken. Some recipes just call for um, just the green onions at the end. I wanted a little more flavor, a little more nutrition, so I've got broccoli, uh, mini bell peppers, and white onion, all from the 99 cent store, all fresh because I bought it yesterday. These are what the little bell peppers look like. They're really cute. Only 99 cents. And I've seen these at Trader Joe's where it's, you know, $2.99 or something. So that's a really good deal. Um, I'm going to add, to make this more like, you know, Asian Thai food type of thing, some water chestnuts, which you know I love that in my spinach salads. And I also picked these up at the 99 cent store, some sliced bamboo uh, shoots. Ah, shoot. Really to make it kind of authentic sort of take out uh, type of thing and those didn't really need to cook too long I still want them to stay crisp so we'll just add those at the end pretty much my vegetables are done the chicken is done the rice is simmering so really it's all about the sauce right so let's see if we can make a sauce that tastes pretty good so my ingredients are going to be two tablespoons of soy sauce any kind of soy sauce you like I got mine this is one I happen to get at Trader Joe's but they also have a good one at the 99 cent store. So two tablespoons of soy sauce. I need one tablespoon of water, which let me just, I put my water away. One tablespoon of water. One tablespoon of water, half of a tablespoon of sesame oil. Now, I like sesame oil a lot. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more than that. Like I'm actually gonna add a whole tablespoon. And then you want um, a one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. So I've got this brown sugar right here. Some recipes call for regular granulated sugar. I think brown sugar is probably a little healthier for you. So add that. And then you want fresh ginger, or you could use ginger powder, which I happen to have right here, ground ginger, if you don't have fresh ginger. But I, have, I, I got fresh ginger at the 99 cent store. It's really good. You want to peel it a little bit if you can. And then... Take your kitty grater that your sister got you for your show and just sort of grate, they say like about an inch of the ginger, which I already have some pre-grated right here. That's good for you in the morning too in your hot water with some lemon, by the way. Add that. And your two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Now because I'm trying to be healthy, I'm using flax seeds because you know they're a good source of dietary fiber and uh, good for your digestive system. So you can use sesame seeds, but I think these work just as well. And these ones are actually already toasted, so they actually have extra nutty flavor. And I got those from Trader Joe's. Sometimes you can find flax seeds at the 99 cent store. They're not toasted though, but that's really gonna give it a nice extra nutty flavor. And then this also calls for one tablespoon of cornstarch, which I have right here. And it calls for some garlic, one clove of garlic. Now I've got my handy dandy pre-chopped garlic, which I will put a little bit of this in here for convenience. But I also did chop some up already, but I wanted to refresh your memory. Remember the trick to peeling your garlic 
If you have it like this already with the skin on it, put it in a pan or a bowl with a lid to give it a stir. Shake, shake, shake. And then it's amazing that it comes out like that already peeled. That's so cool. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you just chop that up. Mine's kind of chunky, but I don't mind. And then you want to add that to your mix. And this is going to go in and coat everything at the end. So hopefully it tastes just as good, if not better, than that stuff I have in the fridge in a bottle. Maybe we'll do a taste test. I'm going to kind of whisk this. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think the garlic could be smaller, but I don't mind. And it looks something like that. And I guess that's going to thicken up once you add it to the chicken. But I'm going to add the chicken to my vegetable mix here already. So we've got the vegetables, we've got our chicken, just kind of lightly breaded, not deep fried. I mean, I guess technically you don't even have to do the breading kind of thing, but a lot of the recipes I saw called for that, so it must be good. And of course I've been nibbling on it along the way just with the sesame oil and that was really good on its own. Even this without sauce doesn't look too bad. Have to say. All right, let's add our sauce. Let's get this. So we have to get the dish hot. That's one thing. I said have the pan be hot because then it will thicken up as you glaze, as your glass over, as you glaze over your chicken mixture. And make sure I did not forget anything. The green onions come at the end. And now let's add our sauce. And if I need to make more sauce, which I might need to make more sauce because uh, I think I used a lot of chicken. I'll just make another little batch. I'll just whip another little batch up, but we get the idea. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is the first time I've done this, folks. So last time I made a stir fry, stir fry it up or something with shrimp. And this is going to be good. I really smell the ginger. Let's put a little bit in a bowl. Uh, wanted to use the bowl that you could see. Let's use our ginger bowl. Just so we can get a feel and what it looks like with the little green onions on top. I might not even have time to wait for the rice, I tell you. But I also, I forgot to tell you, I added mushrooms as well. You can add whatever vegetables you want. Oh, and I added some, besides the bell peppers, I added some of these red peppers, little jar. You know where. 99 cent store. A little green onion garnish. Gar garnish. 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 And look at that. Look at work. And I'll take a picture of this and post it on my Facebook page. Sesame ginger chicken. Let's see how that tastes. Oh, wow. Don't see that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's good. Not too heavy. I think I'm going to make a little more sauce to add to it. Um, that's it. Happy Thursday. Sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. Um, let me have a sip of my wine here. So be sure to follow me, please, on YouTube. You can find me under Joanne Kitty Bush. Once I get 100 subscribers, I can actually make it easier to find me where you, the link is not a bunch of mumbo jumbo. And Kitty um, Facebook page at Cooking with Kitty 711. Twitter is Cooking W Kitty, and Instagram is at Cooking with Kitty 711. All right, folks. Um, if you want me to come to your house, you want to show me a meal, something you like to whip up real quick, take it on the road. It'll be your show for the day. You even, get to wear, all right. you even get to wear the apron. Message me. Facebook me. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.